Hello there, heroes. I'm the Orange Ranger, and I have got a Beast Morphers action figure review for you here today. This is going to be my review of the Silver Ranger action figure, which is, of course, Steel. Now, you might notice this is the first Beast Morphers action figure review I'm doing where I'm only reviewing a single figure and not three, and there's two reasons for that. The other thing you would probably wonder right away is, where's the Gold Ranger figure? Why aren't you reviewing them together? As you see here, I do have it, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video. And that's because I have another video intended for that figure. A little comparison between Nate and Nate, and I'll just leave that there for now. Although, the other thing is, I think going forward with action figure reviews, if I, you know, continue doing them as they go forward... I only plan to review one figure at a time, and that's just part of my greater overall effort to get my videos shorter, uh, to not do the long videos that I've kind of become known for, but I just really need to get my videos shorter, and I know that, and I figure, you know, you can watch me talk about three figures for half an hour or more, or one figure at a time for less than 10 minutes each. It's still about the same amount of time, but it gives you as the viewer the option of not, you know, having to sit through one entire video and you can just watch each figure individually and also select what you're interested in. So, yeah, going forward, action figure reviews are going to be one figure at a time, except for the Nate versus Nate video. And that's what we're doing. So here you see we have the Beast Morpher Silver Ranger. As I said, that is steel. The packaging is exactly what we're used to. Nice shot of steel up here in the corner. It just says Silver Ranger there. The show logo, you have the key going in there. Let me take a look at this side. You've got steel over here. Oh, and actually nobody on this side, which lets you see into the box with the figures and everything. The bottom just has the barcode and some disclaimers. The back, of course, is the most interesting part. Use the Silver Ranger Morphex key with the Beast X Morpher to imagine activating Silver Ranger powers. And that key and the picture there, and then you see Steel. And it looks, huh, there's a couple of figures shaded in the background there. One of them is clearly Nate. The other, I want to say, is Red Ranger Fury Mode, which is interesting. You see Steel there holding a weapon and the Morpher Blaster, and how you can put the key on right there. And on the side, you have Devin, Nate, Drilltron, and Evox. So that's all very interesting. All right, let's pop her open. One of the first things that strikes me every time I open one of these figures is just how cool the backing art is. This shot of steel, I couldn't even really tell until I got the figure open. It's a great picture, but this is blister-packed, so the cardboard rips and it looks like garbage. <sighs> Frustrating. All right, I managed to get steel out of the box here and get his accessories and get him posed. Kind of in a, hey, what's going on here? pose. Uh, I don't know what it is. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, I'm going to go over his accessories in a minute here, but uh, <laughs> one of the greatest things about this figure mm -hmm. is also slightly challenging on the video, and it's <laughs> that silver is really shiny and reflective. I've always loved the paint here. The blue on his other accessories also pops very well. Um, this is just a good-looking figure. I was saying as I took it out of the box, I just love the leather texture detailing on the paint. But you can just see there the little, like, lines and bumpiness of, like, leather texture detail. And that's really important for this season um, and these Rangers just because their suits are so different. Um, that's, that's really important to convey in the figures and it would be so easy to just make it look like spandex but they actually included in these regular line figures i'd expect it in the lightning figures but in these regular line figures that little touch of detail that these are leather suits and that's what that looks like that's incredible to me zooming back out a little bit here so you can see the weapons i'm pretty sure no i'm definitely sure that um double bladed thing that he has there in his right hand is non-canon. 
We've never seen it on the show. It may show up. I don't know. But, yeah, that's just a melee weapon for him to have. Uh, would that he came with one of the striker sabers. I know that Nate does, and that would be neat for him to have. But I want to point out this Morpher, and I'm going to show it to you in a moment here in more detail, but just the, the Striker Blaster, how well painted that is. It's only two colors, gold and black, but just let me show it to you here. Just the level of detailing on this with that, with that sunglasses visor, the uh, handle painted black, but the little tiny gold tip at the end there. And just all the little intricate plastic detailing. I'm sure advances in 3D printing make stuff like this a lot easier. But it just looks so good. And that's just a great little... Like, to me, that looks like a lightning collection quality, you know, accessory. And I'm sure when I get over to Nate... Oh, spoilers. <laughs> um, that one included maybe even better. But just this is just so so well painted that gold is shiny because Hasbro actually knows what shiny gold paint is <laughs> and you know, it just contrasts well with the black on the handle there and just it's great it really is I don't know if anybody cares but this is a specific look at his weapon it kind of reminds me of the Tronic weapon and that it can you know be held either way it's the same on either side it's an interesting weapon I could imagine this being his weapon if he had an individual weapon but there's that Steel's key kind of loses me a little bit because I'm not sure if we've gotten any good looks on the show on what his morphing key looks like, but you figure they're supposed to be based on their animals. Steel is supposed to be based on a beetle. I always get them mixed up, so I'm not going to say which is which. I'll put it on screen here, but Steel is based on a beetle, and this very clearly to me looks like a cat. So... <laughs> I mean, the eyes are on the sides here, and I guess there's little, like, horns there, but this looks like a cat to me, so I don't know what it is. All right, you know the deal. Let's pop it in the morpher and see what two sounds we get. Quick side note, by the by, I actually wore my Beastex morpher uh, at Ranger Stop on Friday. I forgot how heavy this thing is. I mean, it's not super heavy heavy, but, like, when you're wearing it for a long time, you come to be aware of it being on your arm. All right, I've already switched it on, so just you have to hit the button, remember? Let's pop that in there. I'm half human, half robot, and totally awesome. Beast Morphers, let's go! Yeah, well, hush, Morpher. <laughs> Yeah, as I heard, I remember this mainly when I watched uh, Japanime's review of this and he mentioned it. The sounds are kind of a downfall for this morpher because they didn't get the primary voice actors, which is understandable. But they just didn't seem like aware of what was going on. They just had a sense that Steel was going to be a robot ranger. And so they have this voice that is literally sounding like a robot. And like, you know, thank you. Uh, they had this, um, like, casting side for Steel. Robot with an attitude, right? And and it just doesn't match at all with Steel's voice in the show, which is so distinctive. And so it just comes off as kind of a disconnect. Uh, we'll throw in a quick morph. It's going to be the same noise as you know, but, you know, it's fine. I'm Are you ready? Say, it's morphin' time! It's morphin' time. <laughs> This is the regular ranger morph sound. By the way, just to mention it really quick, as I was trying to pose him again, uh, my main question with these figures came up, are his feet bendy? His feet are bendy. I don't get this. It's like the one area where they seem to kind of cut some costs. The feet just feel like cheaper plastic. Everything below the cuffs is just really bendy. And yeah, that really kind of wraps it up with a single figure and this being the seventh Beast Morphers figure that I've reviewed. There's not a heck of a lot for me to say. Uh, you know, they're all kind of standard among themselves. I really like this figure line. I think it's very well painted. I think the figures for the most part besides the feet are a very good quality. 
I like the accessories. The Morpher keys are a cool collectible to include alongside for the Morpher, though I wish they were doing more with the sounds and could just, I mean, it might be hard to get the actors because of the timing, but just to try and better match, you know, if you're going to have voice clips in the Morpher, just try to match better between uh, what we hear in the Morpher and what we hear on the show. But overall, this is a great figure. It's at that $10 price point, and I very much recommend it. As far as I am aware with figures, I, again, have a couple of dates to show you here. I might be picking up Evox. I'm a little 50-50 on that. I was really just seeking to complete the Rangers, so I've got the five Rangers now. And I don't really feel a need to um, get Evox or anything like that. I have a Tronic, so I might pick up Evox. When I was thinking about doing this as another three-figure video, it was going to be Nate Steele and Evox. But, yeah, and I'm not really interested in Drilltron and... Just, you know, I guess I'm kind of picky that way, but I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Uh, toy reviews can be a little risky on YouTube right now, but we'll see how this goes. I do enjoy doing them, especially when it's a good product that I can speak highly of. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, do you have this figure? What do you think of this figure? Did this review make you want this figure more? Let me know all that down in the comments below. While you're down there, make sure to smack the thumbs up button. Let me know that you enjoyed the video. Smack the whoops smack steel apparently smack the thumbs up button and let me know that you enjoyed this video i'm not standing him up he's a pain in the butt to make stand up like all these figures are i need a figure stand in the worst way make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all of my videos and ring that bell get your notifications set up so you're notified whenever i post brand new videos like these toy reviews as well as any other videos that i post and if you're interested in providing any financial support to the channel to help me buy toys such as this, head on over to patreon.com slash videos. Consider becoming one of my patrons. List of the tiers there and what you get back for the support, and I greatly appreciate that. Or if you can't do the monthly thing, you can head over to ko-fi.com slash videos. Consider making a one-time gift of $3 for coffee. I'll make the sound effect. You can't see me, but I'll make the sound effect. Ah, imaginarily delicious. And I greatly appreciate any support I find at those sites, as well as you just liking and sharing the video and just telling people about my channel. Until next time, heroes, may the power protect you.